Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours through, of course, Death Scavenger. And yes, today we got ourselves a magic games like a guy named BasicA64, a Twitter follower, and he will of course be linked down below. If you want to battle him, make sure to give him a shout out if anything. And yeah, going into this battle, we're gonna see of course Vaporeon, Aesil, Megadactyl, Shaman, Mamoswine, and Kubralion. And um, yeah, that's still pretty UU stuff, really. A lot of hard hitters and a lot of good defensive walls. Um, my team is uh, stated before, really. It's Machamp, Hydreigon, Napoleon, Toxic Croak, Rotom, and my own Mega Redactyl. And as of this startup, I actually had Assault Vest. I wanted to try both Assault Vest and Choice Band on Machamp. I did set up a band, but um, yeah, uh, my Machamp is gonna do a heavy hits here on his team. Whether, or rather, depending on how he will decide to lead. Now, I felt Cobalion was an obvious lead here with your know, Stealth Frogs and whatnot. So, that's what I'm gonna go with. So, with all of this in mind, guys, let's go. So, yeah, and I lowered the volume too since it was a bit higher in the previous video. So, <laughs> here we go. So, anyway, he's gonna start with Clint, which was a Cobalion, which was really, really, really nice. And, like I said, I'm gonna start with Gaius. Because the guy is, just can't fend this guy off. Now he will decide to go for a full switch. And uh, that shows me, of course, that I'm a salt visit. Damn, I take that well. And again, Kubelan is not especially oriented, so I get that. So he's gonna bring in the Aqualod. And I'm gonna start with a dynamic crit. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Now, due to me not being banded, that is not a 2 kill, even with that crit. So, um... I need to throw it out, I can't risk the potential Scald, and I have switches to potential take those Scalds. So, Gatler, the Toxic Crow is gonna come in, and, um, yeah, we are gonna try to take a Scald, or rather absorb it, but he's gonna hit himself with Confusion, which, of course, is fine. It's a great switch and I get there, and a lot of momentum on my side, and the Aqualod right now is just all the time. I'll go for a knockoff here, because I'm predicting him to switch out, uh, but no, he stays in, and I guess that's really fine. While he, I uh, think, can't hurt himself in confusion. So, as of right now, he, he, my opponent is not in a good place. He is not in a good place. He will decide to go for Protect here, pretty much. Um, trying to recover, or rather, uh, get rid of the confusion. But he can't play around it. And I'm just going to go for another round of knockoff in case switch out. Because I'm still in range of taking him out. No matter what. So, there's the Vaporeon gone. And, yes, finally... <laughs> That's actually really scary. So Jurassic's gonna come in, which of course is the Aerodactyl. And there is really not a whole lot I can do to it. So I'm gonna bring Cryo Mill here. And hoping it goes for either an Air Lace or a Stone Edge, which I both resist those. And I can't take a potential EQ if I'm forced to hit or get a hit with those moves in mind. So luck with me, he does go for the Air Lace. And uh, yeah, it still does a good chunk of damage. Uh, so I'm actually feeling that I might not be in that good range of an EQ, but as of right now I can't risk it, I need to stay in, I need to stay put really. Uh, so he's gonna bring Clint, which of course is a Cavalion, and I gotta go for Ice Beam, hoping for anything besides that, I went for like a neutral ground, but of course Cavalions probably don't want to take that, and this is not good. Now, I think I decided here to set up rocks anyway, because I was predicting him to do so, and, um, yeah, I'll say, you know, had he had close combat, I would have won dead Empoleon. Uh, <laughs> wow. So, uh, at least get up my rocks, which is, um, it's important for Aerodactyl to be kind of whittled down by that. Um, but, shit. I should not have done that. I should not have done that play. I should just switch out to Rotom, really. But, you know, that's one thing you can see afterwards. Like, oh, shit, I, I messed up. <clears throat> so, anyway, he'll go for Stealth Rocks. Completely fine. I'll retaliate with a Scald. Since I'm in such a low amount of HP, there's really no reason for me of actually keeping this thing alive. And look at that! Burn! <laughs> so yeah, Hax is on my side this game. It really, really, really is. Uh, I'm feeling really bad for my opponent since Dynamic, Crit, uh, 2 hits in Self and Confusion, and now the Burn. Now, the Burn though is much more expected than Hit Yourself and Confusion. So anyway, he'll finally finish me off with a Sacred Sword. And there is really nothing I can do there. I can just accept that faith, really. And, um, yeah, I I got nothing on this. Kubalian is not that dangerous, but, you know, if you can... 
if it can get momentum, then it's kind of hard to outspeed. Now, I will go to Gyrus because I know I can take any fire move we got on me. Plus, I can retaliate with the dynamic punch. Now, he will actually go for a Volt Switch, which I thought was kind of strange, considering the kind of position he's in. And nothing on his team want to take, of course, the dynamic punch. Now, Jurassic is going to come in. And yeah, the that 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 is a gone portrait part. I was gonna say, but uh, <laughs> it's actual. There we go. There we go. Boom, bada boom. And the next opponent there is a gem, which of course is the easel. And uh, since I am a soul vested, I felt really, really good staying in. But he is going for a trick on me, and I think he's gonna give me a scarf. No, he gave me specs. So specs this. <laughs> So yeah, very unlucky there, of course. Uh, probably should have tried going for a side shock. But yeah, now he's locked into um, <laughs> into knockoff, which is not really gonna help a whole lot. And Chaven, of course, is actually gonna pull. He's not gonna kill me. He's gonna pull a lucky flinch on me. So finally, he's coming back. I was pretty much locked in knockoff, and I thought that you might as well go for the knockoff. But now I know he's probably gonna keep going for air slashes. So my Rotom is much better off coming in. But it actually goes for Giga Drain, which is actually a bit worse. I'm still take that fairly well. But I think I recognize that uh, Shaman has as its second the move that usually is common. I don't go against Shaman too much, but I know he can learn Earth Power. So anyway, he's gonna switch out, not when I really fought in that up. It's gonna go to Clint. Well I think I went overkill here and went for an overheed. Which, of course, gonna kill the Clint, which is fairly nice, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. There is that guy gone, which is um, super, super, super important. And um, I think I only got two Pokemon left. Shaman and one more. I'm trying. It's probably gonna come in now, thinking about it. Uh, Furry fella. All right, the Mamo. The Mam. Oh. It's <laughs> all right. And I think... I, I had no reason for switching out here since I was timid. Uh, I'm actually timid fully speed, but that shows me, of course, that he's scarfed. Um, so now I know he's locked into Icicle Crash. And I got, of course, that thing burned, which is even better. Uh, now, I don't really know how I want to play this out. Because since I'm lower in special attack, I can't really hurt it. You, these guys usually have thick fat, as always. So I decided to actually just sack off Gaius, if anything. Uh, and then get momentum out of that. So that's clear. Ice Cold Crash is gonna land, and of course it's gonna kill, even though it's burned. And Mammoth Swine still pack a whole lot of attack. So the burn is basically just um, situational. It definitely comes in his favor no matter what. It's not really that dangerous. So I'm gonna bring my Grindelish here, of course, uh, my Aerodactyl. And pretty much here, since it was burned, I was hoping, or rather, I can't take uh, an Ice Cold Crash since I know I is scarfed. And finish him off, of course, with uh, uh, Aqua Tail. Now, he will be, yet again, a bit unlucky, missing the Icicle, icicle Crash while Aerodactyl finish him off with Aqua Tail. And, yeah, that, that that's bad. That's really, really, really bad. Uh, and his last Pokemon, of course, like I said, is the Shaman. And Shaman can't do a whole lot here either. It just, it can't. So, basic A64, really want to thank for this battle. Very, very unfortunate there, where <laughs> with all of those um, hacks against you, really. Uh, I, pro I think this would have been a much, much um, closer game had I got not get that momentum from the beginning. And I think that momentum kind of didn't let up, and therefore I won, basically. it's It sucks when it's like that, because it's too simple. It really, really, really is. Uh, and also, my, my champ, what a, what a Pokemon to pull off like there, but... After this battle, I recognize that Choice Band is much, much better on Salt Vest. Mostly because of um, the, the packing power in that dynamic punch. It really killed things. Um, so, yeah, like I said, bit of a short upload here to you guys. And I hope I can do something better tomorrow. But I can't promise you anything, as always. But I want to thank you for watching anyway. That's nice. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm saying. Basically, guys, I want to say thank you for watching, really. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, take care. Bye.